Hey, this is uh, one of my video responses to the David Pacman show about the Templenty's uh, appearance on the, on that uh, anti-gay uh, focus on the family show. And what I've heard from some people that Templenty is a little bit more of a moderate Republican, and I think that he's just saying these sort of things just to appeal to the hardline conservatives. Otherwise, the hardline conservatives will quit to call them right or this, right or that. We don't need rhinos in our party. That sort of thing, you know. The more pragmatic social conservatives who seem to quit to turn on anyone that doesn't follow the more hardline conservative principles. There are plenty of them that are quick to want to throw out anyone that's like not in that lockstep with the conservative party. So there would be anybody like Tim Pawlenty, Richard Lugar, Olympia Snow, Susan Collins, and any other like moderate Republican politician there then pretty much want to have the whole party be just one shift of conserv social conservatives to the right like that. Even though that that would be a good idea for them in the short term, but in the long run, it'll basically alienate people who are on who are not that conservative, and they'll just jump ship to the Democrat Party. It'll basically move the Democrat Party more towards the center, and then have more votes to the, more votes to the Democrat Party. And the fact that it'll also just show the fact that people who are quick to jump over to the other side will just point out how how. Uh, I forgot what's that phrase. How, not lo how, uh, how they're not so loyal to their whole base there, not, or people that are on the middle there. They're like the the moderates, as well as people who are not necessarily the the rhinos or the or the moderate ones that are like the moderate, but people who are not necessarily the hardliners. But people that are right, right in the middle of the party, they might be stuck in a rock, between a rock and a hard place, because they have to basically negotiate between the the moderate Republicans and the hardline Republicans, and I think the same idea could go as well with with the Democrat Party. And there are some people who are like the moderate Democrats that would have to say certain things just to appeal to the Democrat base. Otherwise, they'll be called a called a Dino or a Dino. And there would be, and there would be some of them on there that would be quick to call, quick to kick any of them out of it, out of that party. Not that I know of any of them that are that way, but there's probably some that are that way that are willing to kick any of the ones that are moderate Democrats out of the party as well as any of the ones that are like moderate Republicans when when what both people what both parties need to realize is that the moderate Democrats and the moderate Republicans are the ones that that help that help them out reach over the party lines and then help them make the deals within within the party to get things done, as well as the ones that are in the middle of the party, that basically, that basically negotiate within the party itself, because otherwise, if it weren't, otherwise if it weren't that way, it'll just be completely just hardliners, just having a whole partisan bickering, and nothing will get done. So, those are my two cents here.